Culture Buzz, shalom. My name is Marie Sheik. I was born in Tunisia in 67. I live in Tel Aviv in Israel, and this exhibition is a group show of four artists, and it is called the Moazin here in Jaffa. I would like to introduce two different and several artists. Tzachi Chachmon, who made this amazing sculpture. Hello. My name is Tzachi uh, Chachmon. I was born in Israel, Cholon, a small city next to Tel Aviv. Uh, I graduated, graduated uh, Bezalel Academy of uh, Art this year, and uh, this is my first exhibition actually. Uh, I decided uh, to show, uh, to bring a several company and uh, to rent them to place, uh, to put a uh, several antenna. Hello, my name is Yotam. I was born in uh, Nordia, it's a small place in the middle of Israel. And right now I'm living in Tel Aviv. And then uh, this new, uh, group project I'm showing you that picture of a panorama of uh, Bereshit, which is a hotel built in Spiramon, uh, near the Ramon crater. And uh, that's about it. Uh, shalom. <coughs> My name is Eyal Segal. I was born in uh, Arad in uh, 82. Now I live in uh, work in Tel Aviv. And next, uh, so this is my work here. This is a video work. Uh, it's uh, in, the desert, in the desert, in the desert uh, silo. Uh, it's a place that was occupied by hundreds and hundreds of pigeons that uh, uh, came to this place. And uh, then I invaded to this place and started to make a riot. The, the video called Columbo Riot. And here I'm, I'm actually it's kind of like a performance when I'm invading into the space and started to revolt and to make a ride with the pigeons, these animals. It's a bit apocalyptic, a bit uh, the last man on earth, but, uh, maybe a man versus uh, nature. And as you see, the place is full with filth and uh, all the, uh, the sheep of the, the pigeons. And, took the place to themselves and I'm trying to, to survive there as a survival kind of mechanism of the individual individual and the human being. And this is the this is the Hi I'm Sigalit. I am I was born in 1969 in Jerusalem. I live in Tel Aviv and work all over the place. This is the first piece um, that you can see in my portion of the description. This is my eye. This work is made by my brother and myself. His name is Daniel Landau. Um, it shows my sort of an experience and also research of uh, a project which I call Bauhaus. This is the central new piece that I made for the group show. Um, is it a sculpture? I suggest we kind of walk around it. I often make uh, figurative work with all kinds of materials. Uh, usually the base is a metal armature, then some chicken wire, and then some papier mache. I never try to make a couple making love. Oh, I never. I always make love with my work, but not make show the act itself. And even here it was difficult, so I sort of froze right in the middle. So there's two people sort of making or trying to do something. They're not actually ever touching one another. 
and next to by them there is a video piece called Arab Snow, you can see that on my website. It's shot in New York in the year 2001, you see there's cotton candy in the air, because I took a cotton candy machine and um, switched on the, uh, the actual centrifuge uh, with the sugar, but took away the, the plates and blew the fan so it's all over the room, there's cotton candy. It shows the woman uh, eating this kind of um, sweet material. And I rewinded it sometimes. The music is by El it's, uh, it's a It's a piece called uh, On the Ruins of Love. And it's sung here by Sappho, which is a Parisian-Algerian singer. And when you come up to the gallery, you actually also rise and repeat. Safi again. Hi. Hi. <laughs> My work is uh, actually site specific. Yeah, yeah. It was made specially for this exhibition. Uh, it gives you the best opportunity to get uh, close to the antenna, something that doesn't happen every day. So enjoy. Um, between the sculptures, you can see another photographs of uh, your tongue. This photograph is a kind of an illusion of a uh, work what you reckon to be done at night time, but it's actually in the middle of noon. And it's like a point of view of, uh, of this scenery that uh, looks like the most natural thing, but actually will take more time to to reckon what you can see and what is not visible to the viewer. Thank you.